First up on the show, well, worries are rising over another deadly virus. The southern state of Kerala has reported four cases of the Nipah virus, out of which two have succumbed to the infection. Nipah is a zoonotic virus. That means it is transmitted to people from animals. It mainly affects animals such as bats, pigs, dogs and horses. Though the infection uh, does not spread as uh, deadly as uh, COVID, uh, the case fatality ratio or proportion of deaths among those who test positive is very high. And as per the World Health Organization, Nipah has a fatality rate of anywhere between 40 and 75%. Uh, State of Kerala has experienced multiple Nipah outbreaks. In uh, It first reported the virus in 2018 when 21 of the 23 infected people died. In 2019 and in 2021, Nipah claimed two more lives in the state. As the virus spreads through close contact, the Kerala government has strengthened measures to contain it. Mass testing will begin in areas where the latest cases were found. Several areas have been declared as containment zones and no travel out of these areas will be allowed till further notice. Local self-government institutions and Village offices will function with minimum staff, while banks, other government educational institutions will not operate. The government has advised people to maintain social distancing and use masks and sanitizers in the containment zones. Uh, there is currently no vaccines for the virus. The symptoms usually begin with a fever, a headache, cough, sore throat like COVID. Nepa 2 can result in shortness of breath or in uh, breathing difficulties. But in the, if the situation goes from bad to worse, the moment a patient develops encephalitis, that's the medical term for a major swelling in the brain. Encephalitis comes with a fresh set of symptoms that include drowsiness, disorientation and mental confusion. And for more on this, our correspondent Siddharth MP sent us this uh, report. Let's listen in. Time in five years, the fear and danger of the deadly Nipah virus has gripped the southern Indian state of Kerala. At this point in time, there are four confirmed cases of Nipah virus in Kerala. This constitutes two people who are already deceased and also two people who are currently under treatment for the Nipah virus. So the cases we are talking about are centered in the villages of Korikod district in Kerala. So in Korikod primarily, several villages have been cordoned off primarily because of the Nipah virus cases that have emerged out of there. So as in the case of COVID, the standard protocols of isolation of surveillance of testing tracking and isolating are being followed the Kerala government has said that this is actually the Bangladeshi variant of the Nipah virus that has been identified this also means that the mortality rate in these cases could be high but at the same time the spread could be low so what we have to remember is that there is always the danger, heightened danger of people contracting the virus, losing their lives and succumbing to the danger of this virus. The Kerala government is also conducting an emergency meeting in this regard. Let's also remember that the central government uh, has deputed special teams from uh, various parts of India to Kerala to take stock of the situation that is emerging. Earlier as well in the last couple of years, since 2018, Kerala has dealt with uh, breakouts of the deadly Nipah virus. What we know is that the Nipah virus originates from fruit bats and similar animals and thereafter the fluids from these animals or the fruits that they infect that is what transmits the uh, infection to the humans and thereafter it transfers from human to human so that is the predominant danger about this virus so precautions are underway in Kerala and strict instructions have been given to follow the same protocols that were followed during COVID and follow them as strictly as possible to minimize the spread and ensure that things are under control. From Palakkad, Kerala, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.